Hi, I'm Andy Hyman from uh, Bio8 Envy Garden Products. Uh, here today with Terry Walton to talk about a new product we call Chill Out. Chill Out is essentially a biostimulant which alters the way the plants react to high temperatures. What it does is essentially uh, change their natural behaviour to heat stress. What normally happens when a plant gets too hot is that you probably know it wilts and it sheds yes. its buds and things like that because it can't deal with any aerial growth. What Chill Out is actually doing is altering the way that plant reacts in terms of saying it's too hot, I can't grow any more, but instead of wilting and, and getting rid of its buds and its flowers, it changes the growth into the base of the plant and its roots, so it extends the roots. Do you have much problem with heat uh, stress in greenhouse or is it something that people don't recognise? It's, it's difficult because, like everything in the greenhouse, you, you, you have to keep the doors and the window open to get good ventilation, but then you get the cold winds, the cool breezes, so you then shut the door and the sun comes out and the temperature rockets up to about 40 degrees C. Mm. So the plants are constantly under heat, cold, heat, cold. Mm. And it's the, not the ideal condition then for getting good, healthy plants and good, healthy crops. Yeah. yeah. Normally above 30 degrees C, we start to see a real problem with plants. I'd imagine on an allotment, you can't be here all the time. Well, no, and that's always the difficulty. If I go home from here, I spend most of the mornings here till about one o'clock, uh, I then, if it's overcast, I shut the greenhouse door, two o'clock, then the sun comes out, and I think, oh, do I go back or don't I go back? And it's always this debatable thing. Mm. It's been nice to have that pressure relieved by something like this that says, I am going to worry, they're looking after themselves. Yeah, it's almost like the gardener's assistant that you can actually afford to pay, because it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can't afford many of them, that would be the perfect solution. And I know then the plants are, you know, it's going to be hot. Yeah. And am I going to drive the four or five miles back to here? Mm. Or, no, they, they'll survive, I've given them their weekly yeah. doors of chill out so yeah they should be fine yeah but it's something again uh, i've only just for the first time about a three weeks ago i give the first application in the greenhouse they've had a second application but i'm now looking for the heat to make sure they grow and they they thrive yeah, on that product sense. which are the plants that you tend to find most susceptible to heat stress in the, the greenhouse the, the, the mainly the, the peppers and things of that nature they they are very very vulnerable yeah. and the i got an aubergine in there who loves the heat yeah of course it then also wilts and the melon again tends to droop Tomatoes seem to be able to survive a lot better because yeah. they are pretty sturdy looking plants and we want the heat to ripen them but the others seem to suffer quite badly in that. Yeah. Well this particular product was actually tested by the University of Nottingham and they focus specifically on peppers because they are the most susceptible yeah, they um, are. and sort of anywhere from sort of 28 degrees above uh, you can really see start to see problems. Now and then the cucumbers, I grow the, the cucumbers in the corners of the greenhouse in three of my corners and you can see them on a really warm day the leaves really droop and yeah. the whole plant looks as if Ooh, give me a drink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> even at lower temperatures, so even when the temperature wasn't up at 30 degrees or above, this was a fantastic biostimulant, and they found that the yields increased by about 25%. But the interesting part was that uh, they also found that the change in flavour, there was a much improved flavour, which was not really expected in the test, that they found that the flavour was there. So not only is it sort of giving good growth and good protection, and what we'd say is dose these on a, a weekly or a, or a, a fortnightly basis, and and you can apply it just by folio or you can put it into the spray just to trigger spray we always say never spray to run off right. uh, because at that stage you're putting too much on right. and if you overdose it's very tempting sometimes to put more on that will actually overstimulate the plant right. um, but what you will find is that the, the yields will increase the plants will get a lot healthy and they'll be able to deal with the hot temperature changes so right. oh, that's so all music to my ear yeah better crops yeah more crops all the right words yeah. all, the, all the all the perfect solution to a good garden and the more you get the more happy better flavors as well better flavors yes. that would be absolutely ideal fantastic so these are i'm becoming like frankenstein in my green house <laughs> so all these things are actually used i'm going on to all something learning something new but again garden is all about learning something new and something that gives you better results that's right it makes it easy because we're all under time pressures now so like you say dropping home and if you see a hot temperature event you can't sort of always get away to do it you may be on holiday um you may be away at, out of things you can't get back to deal holiday, with it so, holiday, no, yeah. <laughs> with a lot you don't have holidays <laughs> that's impossible so, so at least it, yeah it just gives you some protection that's yeah well, that, that'll be another very useful old sort of asset to my armory yeah i'm fantastic. always looking for ways to make things better on the plot and make things easier on the plot brilliant yeah well thanks for your time thanks no problem your at all it's a pleasure